Hey guys, it's Katie with SB, and today we're going to install our colder intake that fits a 2010 to 2023 uh, Toyota 4Runner and FJ Cruiser. So you're going to start by popping off the engine cover. Next, you're just going to pinch this hose clamp and pull off the hose. Pull off the smaller hose clamp from the back of the intake. So you're going to disconnect the mass airflow sensor and then you're going to take out these two push rivets. So now we're going to loosen these two bolts, remove this screw, and then there's one more push rivet back here that you have to take out as well. So now that you have everything loosened, you can go ahead and remove the intake tube and the resonator. So remove the top portion of the stock intake. And then remove the air filter. And that's gonna give you access to those bolts that we're going to remove to get that bottom portion out. So we're going to remove these two bolts inside the airbox, one back here, and then disconnect the harness from the airbox so we can remove it. So we need to remove this bracket from the vehicle. In order to do that, you just have to remove this one bolt. So now we're gonna prep the airbox and the intake tube for install. So you'll just start by installing the tube seal. seal so we do uh, provide an optional silicone box plug if you want to install it we always recommend in hotter climates that you keep it installed to keep out excess engine heat and then in cooler climates you can get additional airflow by leaving it off so we're just going to leave it off for this video so now we're going to take the mass airflow sensor from the stock lid and put it on the SMB intake tube and we're also going to install this fitting.
When installing the mass airflow sensor, make sure you're using the mask gasket and pad. And then secure it down using the provided hardware. So when you're installing the fitting, you're just going to want to hand tighten it down and then take a wrench and go one turn. And it's okay to see some threads, it's not going to go all the way down. You're going to install this coupler fully on the tube and then loosely install the hose clamps. Now you're just going to drop in the S&B airbox and line it up. And then secure it down using the provided hardware. So now you're just going to drop the air filter into the air box and then install the intake tube. So once you have the intake tube through the tube seal, you're going to install the air filter onto the end of it and then you can tighten down that hose clamp. And then you'll just line up the end of the intake tube and slide the coupler over. So now that we have the coupler all the way on the throttle body, we're just going to tighten down the hose clamps. So we provide you with a longer hose to replace this one, so we're just going to swap that out and install it onto the Quick Connect fitting. So this hose, we do provide it a little bit long, so you can just go ahead and cut it to length. And then reinstall this hose onto the intake tube and reconnect the mass airflow sensor. So take the protective layer off of both sides of the lid and install it into the lid seal. Next you're just going to install the clear lid into the lid seal and then we'll snap it on the airbox. Now you can just snap the lid into place. All right guys, so that is it. It is a super easy install, but if you have any questions, you just wanna know more, you can always check it out on our website and I'll see you next time.